All right, welcome everybody. I'm just gonna make sure that this is streaming onto my page. It is, hooray. All right, so if you are just hopping on, go ahead and share a win for the day or some sort of something that you're proud of for the week. We are just hitting summer, full swing in summer. I feel summertime. I feel like my summer is just starting. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but June was crazy, crazy. All right, some people are hopping from our team. Some people are hopping on the Momentum Makers group. So if you're joining in from there, just as a quick reminder, we are going to be taking, sorry, one second. Um, we're gonna be taking volunteers to be coached on tonight live. So if you are someone that's wanting to be coached, make sure you hop on the actual Zoom. I popped the link into the threads. So it's the same coaching call link we use for everything. So save them to the notes in your phone, save the link to the notes in your phone because we use it every time. So let's see. If you are wanting to be coached tonight, you can raise your hand, message us privately, or I think you can, yeah, you can raise your hand on here or pop it in, in the chat that you're game to be coached. <laughs> Jennifer, her win was that she gave a sample of slim hunger control to a pharmacist that she works with and he liked it. So that's awesome. Roberta just finished her restore tea. She's doing the three day reset, which is awesome. Congrats, Roberta, you made it through day one. <laughs> We are rocking and rolling here. So everybody's hopping on. All right, um, Carissa has a small crisis at the moment. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and kick off. Can you open us in prayer real quick, Justin? Yep. Okay. Can. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity that we all have to come to learn. Our desire is that we would grow as people. Our desire is that we would grow in our businesses and just how we treat people, how we can care for uh, those on our team, how we can care for ourselves, how we can help one another. Our, again, we're, we're here to learn. All of us are. So I pray that you Give us eyes to see and ears to hear what it is you want us to see and what it is you want us to hear. We come before you humbly, expecting a great harvest from what we learned tonight. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I just have a couple of quick reminders for everybody. I'm actually going to move it to gallery view because it's more fun. <laughs> I can see all your faces. It doesn't look as great on the replay, but that's okay. Um, okay, so the focus this month for July. <laughs> I'm going to speak for Carissa too, and all of us. I think we're, we can all say that the reset is the focus. So if you um, haven't noticed yet, we are doing these weekly reset little accountability groups in the same little Facebook group on Facebook each week. Um, Carissa's team and our team is collaborating, and so we're switching each week for who's hosting it. So. My goal and my challenge and encouragement to you guys is to be funneling new people into those groups every single week. And when I say new, that means someone that hasn't tried it yet. So think all of your level ones. If you have been around Plexus for any length of time, <laughs> you have people already on your team that you want to experience the reset, right? So it would be um, a good thing to be encouraging them um, to be getting on board and trying that. I'm, I am totally saying do not do this unless you have an accountability partner <laughs> and so i'm encouraging people to kick off that duplication right off the bat with getting their husband their mom their friend somebody to do the reset with them and right away they have a plus one which is a win in terms of starting that duplication piece so uh, so definitely be funneling people into our three-day weekly 
um, reset groups. It's excellent information. I feel like each time it's getting better. Like when we came back from convention, it was literally just like, oh my word, we're so, you know, we felt all crazy and discombobulated, but we just did one, kind of an early bird one right at the gates. Maybe it wasn't the best <laughs> that we've ever done in terms of graphics and all of that, but each time, each week, we can get better, right? And there'll be more experiences of more people, and we're excited to be able to offer that all month long. So figure out who of your level ones is in or doing the reset this week. Very important to do that. I don't think Angie's on right now, but she had a really great recommendation of putting you, the level ones that you have doing the reset in a little chat thread or text message, group message together. <laughs> that way you have a smaller, intimate little cell of those people that you are personally mentoring. And it also saves you time and bandwidth. And that way you don't have to like be private messaging all 10 of them or however many um, each day to let, you know, to check in on them or to send them a little um, video or something. So I would recommend not just throwing them into the group, but tag them, <laughs> all right? And also create a little chat thread with your people. And I would, I would be working on putting some sort of little encouragement in each day. As we know, <laughs> it's the reset is it's easier to do it if you know you have other people doing it with you even one other person um i loved emily gibson's little video diaries that she recorded so if you haven't checked those out um go listen to them she has like days one through four plus she has a pre like a, a pre reset one that's all about mindset and so she brings some of her coaching in <laughs> to starting the mind or starting the reset which i think is really important and is a huge piece of finishing the reset so it's so much mental so okay also i was just going to um share a couple of other things before we kick into coaching but i came away from convention feeling like the biggest takeaway i personally had the word that i got from convention was accountability i need to provide more accountability for my team and what does that look like so this month and this is something that you guys can totally duplicate even the, the rest of this week or whatever is I created just a little chat thread actually at the end of last month we did like a little I don't know uh, what did I call it a reach out push or something like 100 reach out challenge and that's what we called it and it was only I didn't use an old chat thread I literally said if you want to be in the, the my accountability chat comment <laughs> below I put it on the team page and I throw it in my threads so only the people that wanted to be added and were willing to do the work are even in the chat thread. So there's, uh, well, maybe there's some lurkers or some people that are not doing the work, but by and large, it's pretty much everyone like bing, 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 throwing their little graphics and saying, I did my 20 reach outs for the day. So what we're doing this week is a, another 20 a day reach out accountability chat. And it's super simple. I think the reason why last month's worked so well is because I didn't have this long litany of things people had to read through or work through. I told them, I'm going to assume that y'all are posting, you're making stories, you are doing, you know, the little checky list things of, if you don't know what those needs, what those things are, go look at the high five, go look at that little action sheet. I can, um, we can put it in the chats when we're done with this because I really love that action sheet. So there's a level of everyone's taking personal responsibility of the, the givens that need to be happening in your business, this is simply just an accountability to make sure the messages are getting sent every single day because sometimes I feel like that's the thing that's lacking. It's the thing we avoid because it's easy to be responsive, responsorial in our business. And like as someone messages us, like we'll message them right back, right? Or someone comments and we'll put a comment. But to intentionally reach out, you know, I think what I hear a lot is people want to avoid the initiation messages or avoid the follow-ups or avoid the back office because it's overwhelming and you've been in Texas for five years and you've tapped out of your business and wah, there's just a lot of people back there. How do I even start, right? So we're just doing 20 a day. And this was actually confirmed to me by a girl on our team. Her name is Jamie. And she said that the Lord told her 20 a day until your diamond. <laughs> she told me that the other day and I was like, that is confirmation for what I was planning to do with the team. So thank you for that. So anyways, um, that's what I'm doing. Super simple, easy to duplicate, whether you have three people on your team working with you or 300. <laughs> so that's what, one thing that we're doing. And then two other things I just wanted to mention really quick. Brooke Hemingway's Reset to Ruby call, it was excellent. You can listen to it on 1.75 speed or whatever if you need to. 
but she had some really great truth bombs. It was good to just rehear the incentives that are going on right now. <laughs> and also Jessica Huffley did a kickoff call on her team page live July 1st. Now, a couple of those incentives ended on the 5th of July, but take the meat, throw away the bones. She said, go grow your points by, I thought she said 50%. Is that what she said? Um, anyways, re-listen to the call, but she talked about growth and she talked about, and Brooke talked about this too, like, um, her goal was 10 new level ones. <laughs> and she's like, last month I didn't hit that, but she goes, actually I did. I sponsored five new level ones and I, um, and one of those people added five. <laughs> so she's like, I didn't really, I, I hit that kind of 10 number, except five of them came as level twos. So sometimes we pivot, right, with our goals or, um, that kind of thing. Anyways, I just wanted to throw out those two calls. If you have not listened to them, to go listen to them because it's excellent. And I feel like sometimes, I don't know, summertime, there's less structure and sometimes we're going and coming and I'm just like, whoa, how do I even find time to just sit down enough to send the messages or whatever. But I will get in the right frame of mind to do those things when I'm listening to some amazing people and I pop them in my ear when I have a minute doing housework or if I'm driving someone somewhere i have i'm always listening to something so okay i was listening or not, not listening i'm reading finishing this book that i started um that we started as a team and then we took a break from it but it's called the success principles it's excellent it's a it's very meaty it has a lot of great things in it chapter 45 talked about hiring a personal coach and i just wanted what, what before we delve into coaching tonight i just wanted to share a couple of good little nuggets that were in this chapter um, this quote um, from a magazine actually says, executive coaches are not for the meek. They're for people who value unambiguous feedback. If coaches have one thing in common, it's that they're ruthlessly results oriented. And then there's another little section that I liked. It said, graduates, they're talking about their coaching program, but graduates of coaching programs often have accomplished more than they thought possible in a shorter amount of time than they thought was realistic. For them, coaching multiplied both the size and speed of their success. I just thought that was really, really great. And um, there was an example of somebody that did a coaching program and she said that her coach immediately spotted that she was a perfectionist, something that she's always been really proud of, <laughs> that she's a perfectionist. But he helped me to see how my perfectionism was having a very negative effect on me and my performance and steered me to something much better, excellence. So anyways, those were a couple of things that I, extrapolated from that chapter when I was reading it the other morning. I thought it was really good and appropriate for our coaching call today. So we are taking volunteers. I hope you guys popped in the chat with some wins. If you haven't popped into the chat either on Facebook Live on the Momentum Makers group or on our team or in this chat, post a win. All right, let's, let's get this going with some wins, some exciting things, something you're proud of, maybe whatever that was for you today or this week or last week. And then also, we are taking volunteers for coaching today. So I would love to see if you would like to be coached, raise your hand. There's a little like raise hand button or wave at us. <laughs> or we'll just pick somebody if we don't have a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Let me look on them. And if you're on the live stream, we can't coach you on the live stream. So you have to actually hop on this Zoom to be able to be coached. I see Angela Gaddy on here. And she's going senior gold this month. <laughs> Am I going to make you like crazy, crazy if I pick you? You can pick me. Okay. You have never been, have you, you've never been coached live on one of the coaching calls, have you? No. Okay. Are you nervous? No. Oh. Okay. Well, tell us where you're at, where your points ended last month, what your goal is this month. I kind of already said it, but. Um, my points ended at 198 last month. Highest points ever. Highest points ever, yes. yes. 
Yes, and I've been talking to my team and I wrote down this sheet right here. You can't read it though. So, and I'm not gonna name names, but I'm gonna tell you what they told me they were going to do. Um, my level ones, I got one person plus three, another level one plus three, another person a plus one, another person plus two. So that's 54 points just right there. So that will hit me at senior gold if I retain the 198, but I think I've lost a couple people. I'm gonna be honest with you. So level twos that have also expressed interest, um, one, two, three, two of my level twos are plus two, and another one plus one. So that's 25 points there. And then one of my level threes wants to go silver also. So that's 15. Okay. And, if, and then if I get three to six, three under me and maybe three under Sean, get both of us ranking again, and that will definitely put us way over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always good to have a buffer because as we know, there's a, there's a, there's a right. percentage of attrition, right? Um, Tell me action wise what you've done so far this month for, you know, like maybe hosting events or these people that are like willing to do a plus one this month. Like, have they made a post yet? Um, how many people, how many level ones have you signed so far? Why don't you give us a picture of that? I have not signed anyone yet. I am definitely sending out 20 messages a day. I did reach out to 100 people last month uh, when we did the 100 reach out challenge. The what I'm focusing on now is um, some, mostly new, you know, in this challenge that we're doing this week, 20 a day. Um, but I am following up with others that I did reach out to in the past. Mm -hmm. um, the My team, well, one of my team um, members is on this call, I think. <laughs> oh, good. Yay. Yes, um, I'm reaching out to him individually and also in my chat thread. And I said, so who is doing the 20 messages with me every single day? I'm holding them accountable too. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah, that's and I, important. So now am I seeing them every single day? No, but um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Are you doing any prizes for them for doing any reach outs? I haven't, but I was thinking about getting them frothers if they do the reset. Okay. With mm -hmm. me. That's fun. Is that for, for wholesale people or for your workers? For my, for my workers. Okay. For my workers only. Yeah. yeah. Um, a couple ideas is to reward what you want to see more of so it's right. so a couple of fun things that i will often do if i want to see more recruitment is is incentivize that so maybe you can do like whoever adds two people or you can even say one person depending on where you think you know what you think they're capable yeah. of it's like in the next 24 hours anyone that adds one gets and yes. it could be like a plexus water bottle or I don't know, swag of some sort, a hat or t-shirt or something, just something simple, but it's right. rewarding what you want to see, which is more recruitment and yes. maybe taking action at some, taking certain action at some level. Um, another thought I had when you were talking, and I'm, this is, this is funny because I'm just like <laughs> kind of a doer. So we'll, t we'll talk about mindset stuff in a minute, but just as like a couple of ideas is when was the last time you did a giveaway on your Facebook wall? It's been a while. Okay. I was looking it's back. Been a while. Yeah, yeah. I was looking back at like when I first started Plexus, I did a lot of giveaways. And that doesn't mean that you have to reward everyone that comments on your post, but like you pick one or two or three winners, right? And then everybody else that comments, they get a special 
It's called SAM 2020 <laughs> or free shipping that Plexus is already offering, right? So right. Jessica Huffley offered, I think it was McKenna Pruitt, a special. She didn't win the special, but she bought, she was a loser to her um, giveaway, but she got a, a starting special to just get started on whatever it was, the triplex. And now she's one of the jewels on her team, which is cool. So um, a giveaway is a good idea. Joanna Slavin does a lot of giveaways. Do you follow her? No, I have, I don't. Okay, she was one of the ladies in Portugal. She, she is diamond, her husband is diamond, and her son is sapphire. And so they're really rocking and rolling. I would take a peek at what they're doing. She primarily works Facebook. And I thought it was kind of cool what she said. And she has, she has enough level ones to be emerald. <laughs> like active level one. So she has a really large customer base. She re recruits a lot of people. And I'm not saying that's, that's the only way, that's the only way to build a team. That's how she is doing it. Obviously she yeah. has way more than, <laughs> she has other people working alongside of her, but she is a heavy recruiter and retains people. Um, she did a, one of those tips from the top videos in June that was really good about customer care. Um, anyways, do you have some, Things that you want to have a pipe page in. full of notes. Fabulous. We're ready. No, I had a question real quick, just on strategy. So it's awesome. First off, I applaud you for knowing the goal that your team has set for the month of July, mm -hmm. and to know what they are before the month is even halfway over. That, so that's a good thing. This that is leadership, and that's how you succeed is because you have to know what their goals are in order to help them. So I applaud you for that first off, but strategy is one thing I wanted to ask you about is you mentioned three to six level ones for you and for Sean. So one thing I wanted to ask, where did Sean's points end in May? Justin, I'll be honest. I don't know. Okay. That's fine. Um, one thing I want to point out, and this is for everybody on the call, not just for you, when, when you're working, um, and there are different ideas on this too, and ours isn't just like the, this is the way it is. Some, some couples, some married couples work their businesses differently. Um, mm -hmm. But one thing I think is very important is strategy when working with a spouse. It's very important to be strategic in where you place people. And one thing with this, the numbers that you gave me, all the, the all the level ones and level twos that you mentioned it's going to be really cool if they all do what they said they want to do right however works like none of them are going to do anything they're I... going to do something but don't rely on that you know and so Agreed. and while i say that if you're going to sign three to six because of where your points are, I would recommend putting them all under you. Okay. Because one point is a big difference. I know. Like between six points and a level one or five and a level two, it's a really big difference on a rank up month. There'll be time to park people under Sean when the time's right. I just don't think from a strategy okay. standpoint that it's right this month. It's, it's more of a bouncing back and forth sort of a thing when you're working with a spouse. So I would just, I would just look at the strategy behind mm -hmm. that. And I would, I personally would put them all under you uh, this month and not rely on all the level ones and level twos to get the points. So okay. that's one thing. Um, another thing too, and this is just something I'm learning. So I actually had prayed, um, I said, God, use me while, teach, while, you're, while you're teaching me. So I'm going to be sharing with you right now what I'm learning, you know, and so it's in light of duplication, in light of getting goals from people on our team. It's easy to ask, okay, what, is, what are the goals you have for this month? It's, it's easy my, to ask that question. My goals? No, I'm just saying when we're talking to our team at the beginning of the month and, hey, what are your goals for this month? It's easy to ask the question, but it's very hard, very difficult to follow up with that question and to follow up maybe even on a weekly basis. Hey, these are the goals that you gave me for this month. How are you coming along? And walk with them through that. That's yes. where it gets difficult. And one thing I'm learning is that 
duplication is really not much more different than discipleship. Like discipleship is where you walk with, talk with people through the stuff. And it's a long-term commitment. And so that's one thing I guess I'm learning is that, so as you're asking the goals, that's great. That's a great short-term question to ask. But the real fruit that I'm learning is in long-term commitment. So long-term coaching, long-term duplication, long-term discipleship, and walking with them through that, holding them accountable to what they've said. Um, because duplication, or I'm going to start calling it discipleship, because that's becoming, <laughs> that's it's becoming more of what Harsh. it is. If you've ever coached anybody in Plexus, it has a little bit to do with Plexus, to be honest. Most of it has to do with just life, right? So um, one thing I'm learning, though, is that duplication is a long-term. It's, that's long-term. It's not, you can't short-term, you can't duplicate short-term. No. You run incentives short-term, right? You can ask some questions short-term, but we, the duplication is a long-term commitment. Right. So... I guess this is just for me, for you, and for everybody here. Um, these are some things that I'm learning where it's just easy to ask those questions, but it's a lot harder to see it through. Right. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> just, that's, I guess that's my encouragement is look at the strategy behind whether to park them under you and Sean or just you. My recommendation would be just under you considering all the points we're looking at. And the other thing is, is, following up on asking him what those goals are that's really where the fruit that's where the fruit is at is in that commitment i think thank you yeah. chrissy you got anything i did so thank you for asking um i would challenge you and everyone on the call to to lead a power hour of your own sometime in the next 10 days uh, without waiting on the goths to lead it or without waiting on me to lead it. Um, you talked about what had been kind of rolling in your mind with duplication and discipleship and uh, kind of an epiphany I had this week was that um, whether when, our, when your team is duplicating and growing or when your team is not duplicating and growing, that duplication is communication to you as a leader and to me as a leader. And so often we think that the people we're leading are going to be able to communicate to us in words what they need in order to be effectively led. And the truth is they're not likely going to communicate to us in words what they need in order for you to effectively lead them. And the best communication is are they duplicating? And are they growing? And I said this on my team call Sunday. I don't like to, typically, I don't like to compare my Plexus team to my children because it's very, they're not children. It's very different. But go with me on the analogy for a minute. When my children think I'm being a great mom, it's when I'm giving them candy every day and letting them do whatever they want, right? So they're not the best judges of whether I'm effectively and mom, momming them well. <laughs> And so with our teams, I think sometimes, sometimes, or at least I've been guilty of this, like my team is the sweetest about sending me cards and saying, you are doing such a good job as a leader. We appreciate you so much and on and on and on. And I can really like go, oh, yay, that feels so good that they feel like I'm leading them effectively. But the truth is the communication about whether they're being effectively led is, are they duplicating and are they growing? So my challenge to everyone on the call that I challenged my team for Sunday is um, step into ownership as that leader of your team and assess, are they duplicating? Are they growing? And how can I step in and start to create some of that growth and duplication? I have saved a couple of really good power hours this week that I just feel like are working really well for, you know, like you said, Megan, getting the messages out there, getting the conversations going, following up with people, getting them going on the reset. Um, but what has just occurred to me, I think since watching Emily Gibson's, uh, Emily Gibson did a call about using reset to go emerald, sapphire, and diamond. And she said something really poignant and it was, um, everything changes the moment you step in and own your leadership. So 
that was what was on my mind that duplication is communication and it's better communication than just your team telling you you're doing a great job and leading them effectively or not. So let's, let's get out there and get some power hours going in the next 10 days and not wait for, you know, the nearest jewel in your upline to plan it. You can lead a power hour. If I lead a power hour, if I do a power hour, I message Megan and I say, Hey, you can offer this to your team. I'm doing it. I'm going to sit down and work. You know, anyone can join. And the same is true for you. Whether you have three customers or 50, you can sit down for an hour of IPAs and you can open it up to others. Our brains are better when we're working together and when we're sharing ideas. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, Carissa, if you have specific power hours that you really loved, can you shoot them this way? <laughs> and I'll oh, lift them out. I have not been on any in a while. I've been hunting and I have put them in the comments. Okay, Angie, um, I know there's people on the team that do individual power hours with people. So that's another idea too, is um, that's all, you know, an option. If, and then actually I think you, you do them with your team, right? I have in the past. Okay. Yeah. 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 Which is, is a really great. Oops. I don't hear you. Is that ours? Is that ours or can you guys hear us? I can hear you. Okay. Maybe there was just a weird delay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, there's, there's lots of ways to, to do that and be creative. Um, really quick. I had one more quick question before we switch. Do you have anything coming up for you mindset wise, as you are looking at the goal of senior gold, any limiting beliefs or these little voices in the back of your head going, rah, 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 what, like, what are they saying? Or, or do you feel strong in that area? Curious your thoughts there. Well, um, it's funny you bring that up. So yeah, there are, there are little voices sometimes saying, you're not going to make it. <laughs> but I know that is a lie from the pits of hell, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but it's, but I know I got to take those thoughts captive and I need to just squash them. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're so you're not going to make it. Is there, are there any other little thoughts? Well, okay. I'm just going to be blunt. And some of these people that have said that they're going to go silver or get plus one plus two sometimes doesn't do anything so that's in the back of my mind also so i have to think okay in order for 20 orders and i have three weeks left or mm -hmm. two if my team doesn't pull with me does mm -hmm. that make sense yeah kind of like what justin was saying is if yeah if they if. Don't, <laughs> then what's the next step so right even chunking it down like you're like thinking of plan b c d yeah. e if needed um yeah. it's been setting a goal for yourself of like i want to get um whatever five orders eight orders if you chunk it down and divide it by how many days or weeks left in the month you can kind of even do it that way with right chunking down, I need to get five orders this week. <laughs> and where are those orders going to come from? And even like put your post-it notes out or something visual. So you can just check those off as you go and even put a countdown in your chat thread. Like, hey, we have, we're going to get eight orders in this week. And we all can team up and work on those together and then kind of count down. I've done that the last two months and I still didn't hit it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, I didn't hit Senior Ruby on my reentry the month I would hit it either. I thought I would hit it either. I was um, like 50 points short, but I tried <laughs> and the next month we hit it. So honestly, you're not that far away from, um, you're basically at 200 points. Right. You need 250. Right. That's about what, nine orders? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. very doable, but um, I would front load. Don't wait till the 28th. <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm front loading now. We'll, yes, yes. we'll mid load, we'll, we'll <laughs> mid load for the month. Yeah, you can get a lot done in these I, weeks, for sure. Yes, I'm block. I'm time blocking. I'm working 
two to three hours every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, good. And this, do you have a counteractive thought with this, you're not going to make it? Do you have something to counteract that? I am gonna make it. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> so um, I think it's important to, when we have those thoughts come up, yes. one, to evaluate, well, why is this coming up? I, I mean, sometimes, if you've set a really unrealistic goal, there may be some reality to <laughs> the thought. But if you've mapped it out, you have a plan, there is, you know, some, some clear, you know, a clear path, and you know, it's possible and that you can, you know, and you can do it, then you, you just have to put those, those thoughts aside and decide to believe something else. <laughs> so with God, all things are possible. See, there you go. Counteract it with scripture. That's even the even better. <laughs> okay, well, excited for you. Congratulations in advance. I would be thinking through what senior gold is going to feel like, look like, how you're going to celebrate it. Think, sit in your space maybe after this call and think about that. Like, what feelings are you going to feel when you see 250 cross your back office? And how are you going to celebrate? Are you going to, I know just, I think it, Jessica said when she was, when she gave her senior goal, she was going to buy herself a North Face jacket with her bonus because <laughs> she'd always wanted one. I think that was the rank. Anyways, awesome. that may be something to think about because sometimes it's like we're so goal oriented that we don't think about the feeling and we also don't think about the accomplishment and how to celebrate it. We just mm -hmm. like want to breeze on to the next thing, but it is important to, to be planning how you're going to celebrate. And then the last question I have for you is, have you listened to any trainings about specifically going senior gold? Um, yes, I did watch, um, I don't remember who it was. It's on YouTube, senior gold. Mm -hmm. And I, I watched it probably a couple times last month. Okay. Um, this month I have not watched it. I have watched all the training that you've been sending out in our chat threads, going silver and senior silver. Um, I watched that twice and that was a really great call. Mm -hmm. Um, and what else? Of course, I, I mean, I don't, I don't always listen to a lot of things, but I did watch the, um, motivation training yesterday. Oh, that good. was really good. Mm -hmm. That was so really good. That's going to be fuel. It's like jet fuel for your brain. And so when you do sit down to work, you have like the, the frame of mind to make that happen because yes. you're listening and getting yourself in plexus mode before you're ever actually sitting down and doing the work. So congrats Thanks. for that. Keep doing that. Thanks. And anyone that's on the call that this is their rank up month, or maybe you've stretched it out into a 60 day goal and maybe next month is your rank up month, whatever. Think through some of these things that we challenged Angie with and encourage her with because it's applicable to everybody. <laughs> So, yes, yes. Okay. We are going, thank you for, for popping on thank with Angie and being willing to put, you put on the spot. We're going to put, um, is it Sherm? Yeah. So okay. she's on the phone and I have sent her star six to unmute. So we need to see if she has success unmuting. Her name is actually Shermalyn. Okay. Sherm is her nickname. So, and I see, I still see that you're muted, Sherm. Have you tried, um, Pressing star six. She has been talking with me in the chat, so I know that she can chat. But she, she said it's not really working. The unmute thing on the phone is kind of challenging. So, so if we have anyone else from my team who for the last couple, I don't know, looks like we've got 15, 20 minutes. So this is a uh, great opportunity. So go ahead and say something in the chat. If you would like just a little curiosity or a little bit of help guidance from people who have been there, done that and are been there doing that right now. I'm keeping my eye on the chat. She says, I'm trying, but it's just not working, but I need all the tips, please. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry. Well, Hey, next time. Next time we do a coaching call, Sherm, we will push you to the top of the list yeah. and we can do it from a different device maybe. Maybe it's just the fact that you've called in 
on the phone number. Cassie is Cassie is voluntolding Patricia or Tony. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, then you want to say something? I have a question for Cassie real quick. So on this, Go for it. okay. So this because this is a great. This is a great opportunity for everybody on the call. She wrote in the chat group, she says, when I hit Sapphire, I'm getting a Telluride SUV in a hot pink color, very specific. <laughs> Having that vision is pushing me and those things like that will push you more when you have a vision. I have a question, do you have a picture of it anywhere in your office or where you can see it? I don't have a picture, but it's right here and I will for sure print one if I need to, but it's driving me because all of our cars are at 200,000 miles plus. Okay. And so it's one of those things that like, okay, it's time. It's, it's ready, you know? So. Perfect. One of the things that has helped us throughout the years in Plexus is to print off pictures of whatever that next goal or that thing was that you wanted when you celebrate or when you hit a goal is to print those pictures out and look at it. Actually, this house, oh, where's the picture? This house we're sitting in started off as that picture like six or seven years ago. Yeah, it's all crinkly because it was it's on my It's been there a while. So <laughs> it, if, we, if you, I'm just saying if people, if you, for all, everybody on this call, it's us included, print out that thing sit, and put it right on your computer. So it's like just staring at you like all day, wondering like, when are you going to get me? So anyway, <laughs> just throwing that out there. <laughs> Roberta, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> we have any artists out here that can draw a picture for Roberta to put on her uh, computer for this? Um, yes, Sherry Fig, when she drew a vision board that y'all challenged her to make. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. They're helpful because what we see, what, what we focus on grows, what we feed grows, and what we starve dies. And if it's always in front of us, it's always you know, in our view, it'll be on our mind a lot more than we, that, a lot more than we realize. Sometimes we think it's just a picture, but it's way more than that. It mm -hmm. really is. Um, if we don't, if, if we don't have another volunteer, I would love to hear a little bit more of your vision for um, adding a layer of accountability to the next several coaching calls. You touched on it at the beginning, as far as what the, what, what the work is going to look like. Um, can you share kind of what's going to change about our Tuesday calls? Um, well, I was thinking that it would be just helpful in up leveling all of us, all of, all of our current thresholds, I suppose, if we commit kind of like what uh, Brittany Howard and Christina Williams require is that they have an action sheet, mm -hmm. like over the course of a week. So it's not so over the course of a week, you have done X, Y, Z things, which we can decide what those things are um, in order to be on the call. <laughs> and I think the idea behind that isn't to eliminate people and like be mean or whatever, but just to be like, you know what, all of us on here clearly are working towards a specific goal. Mm -hmm. And I think it's our response. I think at some level, it's our responsibility to provide the accountable accountability needed so that you guys can stay accountable to what you said <laughs> you have set out to do. And so in, in a business like this, we don't always see results. Like you don't necessarily see the results on Friday mm -hmm. for the action that you took on Monday, <laughs> but over the course of daily consistencies compounding over time, that's when we see results and you start to have wins and that totally affects your mind space. And that that's when momentum hits, but it's the willingness to do those daily consistencies that add up and compound into massive momentum. And not only on what you do consistently, but just even the coaching of even what's going on here, whether you're coaching someone on your team or you're being coached or, or whatever, don't um, minimize the power of that. So before convention, I was kind of like, uh, I don't even know if the con coaching is working, what's going on. And I, two people uh, that aren't even on our team came up and spoke to me. And one girl said, was like, you know, you made me cry uh, when you coached me. And I was like, oh, great. See, I knew it wasn't working, and but no, they, 
but she was thankful because, and then the other one said, um, because of coaching, I made it to leaders retreat. So sometimes even coaching, you don't see <coughs> because we're dealing with people, right? So you don't necessarily see fruit right away, but when we give our time and we serve, um, there, there will be fruit from that. And sometimes it just takes, sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. So just be patient if you are coaching or even if you're being coached and, uh, be patient with the one coaching, be patient with the one you're coaching. Um, cause you're, you're having a bigger impact than, than you, than you realize. So that's mm -hmm. an encouragement. Yeah. So my thought, I haven't thought through this, like, super extensively for what we would necessarily require but for my team currently what we're doing is the 20 a day reach outs in this little chat thread and then um i have a little ipa go thing going on our little business group um but i think that staying accountable to like a certain number of reach outs if if that's the simplest thing to do like i'm game for that like um I know Christina Williams and Brittany, they have like a little sheet that everybody fills out. They blitz it over their sponsor and it's kind of their ticket in to the coaching call, which is kind of cool. Um, because I think when we know that there's like homework due, <laughs> it just adds a little extra layer of like, Oh, I need to get this done. And we feel compelled sometimes when we're just accountable to ourselves, sometimes we, we let ourselves off the hook <laughs> more than we should. And, you know, we don't have bosses in this industry. We don't have quotas to fill. And so sometimes it's easy to kind of take the path of least resistance. I'm speaking for myself here also and not stay accountable when staying accountable is what will move our businesses forward. Right. So mm -hmm. Carissa, I don't know if that helps because I haven't really thought through real specifically on what that should be, but I think it would help our group up level even more if we, commit to a specific something mm -hmm. in the course of a week so it's not like you have to be like hardcore oh every single day i have to like but on a weekly average like if you have if you work a three-day shift and you have to double up on the four days that you're off like totally fine um but i think that could be really helpful to our group i, I totally agree very helpful and the only reason i asked restate it is because we started this month off with a holiday a lot of people were on vacation and here we are july 12th and it feels a little bit like the beginning of the month and yet it also feels like whoa the month is almost halfway over so um it's one of those times where maybe you feel the same way we've gotten into the month without having a calendar lined out very clearly without having every duck in a row so and i um i'm gonna kind of get all these details together and get our team started on that too so yeah and we can have um something a little bit more uh set in stone <laughs> for next week's call and we'll think through like if it will be a rank specific thing or not but anyway so it's been a little bit since we've done a coaching and jess and i i don't think we've coached since the month of may so um it's great to be back and to just chat with you guys how much time do we have? We have about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Roberta, you want to chat a little bit? Oh, she says, yeah. You can unmute. I'm going to have to ask her to unmute. Oh. There we go. The hey, there we go. <laughs> so you, have, you, you mentioned something, and I think this is good for all of us to, and we can do a mastermind answer to this question here i think everybody involved here because everybody deals with these sorts of things so um, if I, um so you mentioned in the chat said my mind space needs more positive to happen the last month hasn't been so great do you want to yeah talk about that a little bit <laughs> okay so for those that don't know i just you know pretty much i started this in march so let's see march I went silver april i went senior silver and gold fast start and then i had like let's see april i had 13 people joined in may i had nine people join in june i was really really hoping to go fast start senior gold in june and i only had two people join me and then i started having all these dropouts 
you know, it's like they were dropping like flies, boom, boom, gone. Cut this off, cut that off, not getting their subscription anymore. I spent hours talking people back into putting their subscriptions back on and keeping their perk points alive, you know, and just pushing their stuff out, you know, to just get them back to stay there. Um, I think I had three that totally, and I think I have another one that's going to be doing it this week. So that would be four so far that I just totally canceled their membership. They're gone. But three completely are gone. Um, the one that's this week, she might stay, but she's turning off her subscription and um, stuff like that. So I've been dealing with that. So June, when I say June was just not such a great month because, like I said, I only brought two new people in. I have all these people that have told me they they're yeah they want to start you know and then they don't and then i had a bunch of them that said they wanted to start in june said well um i'll let's do this in july because they had too much going on so here comes july and i'm meet going back and i'm going back through all those people that told me they wanted to wait and now they're saying no not right now it's just not good so and i get that because look i did that for two and a half years almost three years and i put poor libby through hell and um so i totally get that so um so now you know it's happening to me but you know so i'm I'm just remembering that and i'm still like last month alone i reached out to over 400 people just in june i've already reached out over 100 people already this month so i've got the numbers i've got the people to reach out to i haven't even hit everybody the first time yet Mm -hmm. in my network plus i'm hitting people that aren't in my network that are um you know that i see you know i'm reaching out to different people so i still have a just ton of people to reach out to i just can't go that fast mm -hmm. so um so i'm not afraid of running out of people or contacts right now because i still have a whole bunch um and but it's just you know it's 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 frustrating because the numbers aren't there right so like I'm not even looking at reaching fast start senior gold this month. <laughs> I'm just hoping to retain gold. Um, last month, it got to that point. It lasted a month. The last week of the month, I was like, okay, if I can just maintain my gold, I'll be super excited. I did grow my points. I think I ended at 113 the one month, and then I ended at 137 last month. So I'm just trying to get, if I could just, then I'm looking at that little success sprint thing, whatever you call it. If I can just get three new people in this month, I'll be ecstatic to re and maintain gold. That's my that's my short term goal right now. Um, big picture, I still have to next month, the end of next month, to reach fast start senior gold. So that's still my goal, my goal rather. I would have liked to have reached it earlier because you only had that five months to reach like fast start Ruby and fast start senior Ruby. So I was, I wanted to be that person. Boom, 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 boom. It, I, I don't think I'm going to be that person now, but, um, but I don't want to give up that hope either. Mm -hmm. So one thing real quick about being that person, and this is, this might be a mindset shift for you. You can be that person when you go silver, when you go senior silver, when you go gold, when you start going beyond that, you can't be that person anymore. You have to be that team. So Correct. There's a mindset, That's a good verbiage, yes. There's a, mindset, there's a mindset shift that definitely has to happen somewhere in there. Now, some people can recruit like crazy. Uh, you know, someone mentioned Joanna Slavin, or, you know, has enough loved ones <laughs> to, be em to be emerald. Active level. <laughs> That's not typical. And so it's awesome, but it's not, you know, it's not typical. So there does have to be some sort of a a mindset shift to where you have to have someone you need someone or some people helping pull the train helping pull the train with you because that helps make up for the attrition that you're noticing that's really annoying even if you have one or two other people starting to to go with you and on my re-entry it took mm -hmm. months but then those people started showing up so i think you're kind of in that valley right now where you've done a lot of work, you've mm -hmm. put a lot of um, messages out there, there's a lot of seeds planted, and you're just kind of in that, you can't see what's going to happen next type mm -hmm. of thing, and you're so you're like, Rah! and you're wanting to go faster than what you already are currently going, but I just want to say, you're doing awesome. <laughs> you are doing awesome. Thank you. The fact that you started I, in March, and you've already 
Yeah. Like your trajectory is still this. So you have all sorts of, I just want to encourage you. First off, the fallback happens to everybody eventually. I went five years before I had lost a rank, like five, six. And I remember doing a call. I'm like, I think I was Sapphire or going Sapphire. No, Sapphire, I think. I'm like, I've never lost rank. <laughs> Next, the ne bum, bum, bum. See, now this is one thing I want to point out. A lot of these things or these hitches in our business are learning opportunities. They're actually lessons. Mm -hmm. I learned a lesson, keep my fat mouth shut, because I said, <laughs> I've never lost rank. And then the next month, boom, I did not hit rank. I thought, ooh, okay, here's the lesson. Here's the lesson I need to learn. I need to, you know, so um, I just want to share that, that what you're experiencing does happen to everybody at some point. So don't think that, well, I must be doing something wrong or, you know, whatever there might be things that need adjusted, but this thing, this happens. This is part of the business. And another, cause I can, you had 400 reach outs in June. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Might be more than everybody else on this call. Just to be completely honest, we can take a poll. If everybody's honest, you probably outworked all of us combined. So the effort is there. The desire is there. The goal is there to be fast start senior gold yet by the end of July. And so, and sometimes when we plant seeds, it takes time. You know, I've been at this seven years. I still have people that will reach out on occasion and be like, hey, I'm ready. And like, I haven't talked to them in like five years. Like I planted the seed cool. way, way back, you know, or whatever. So, so be encouraged. The other thing is, is I would say, I would ask is, not that necessarily you're doing anything wrong, but just go, just think through or even pray and ask, okay, what, is there anything I need to change? Is there something I'm, is there something I'm missing here? Am I, maybe am I being too aggressive? Maybe am I, am I hitting the, out of my list of all my network, which ones am I reaching out to and which ones am I not reaching out to and why? Like just to start asking questions, because like I said, the effort is there. The work ethic is there. It's 400. That's already 100 this month. That's 500 people. Yeah. Like, so that's 500 seeds. Something is going to come up at some at some. I've, since I started in March, I've reached over 900 people so far. Yeah, see, the, the effort's there. I would be continuing to do what you're doing, but, but really start considering maybe even on the ones that are um, – that are quitting or canceling their ambassadorship, you know, be asking questions or ask them, you know, why are you quitting? What, what, is, what can I, I do have, better or whatever? Yeah. Thank you. I, I have done that. Um, so I'm, I'm keeping a record of that, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, so I am doing that and I'm trying to get my team motivated. I've got, one gal that told me she wanted to start for the business. I was so excited. Yay. I was stoked. And she signed her husband up with her. And then she ghosted me. I couldn't get her nothing for like three weeks. And now she tells me that um, she wants to give it a couple months to see what the products do for her. And her husband has turned off his subscription. So I don't know where that's going to go. But like in sentence, okay, like I just put in my little team thread because I got my own little team thread, right? And I put out there, you know, I've done it before, but I did it again yesterday that, um, you know, for the next 72 hours, whoever gets a VIP added, for every VIP they add to their team, you know, they'll get a gift from me. And um, so I did put that back out there and I gave them 72 hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two things. A lot of people throughout the years have told me a lot of things. One guy seven years ago when I just started, this is his quote. He said, I can sell ice to an Eskimo. And he still hasn't joined my team. So who yeah. knows? Like, you never know. People are just strange. I don't know. People are people. But when you were talking, um, a scripture came to mind. I want to read it to you. It says, and let us not be wary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not so 
a lot Thank of what you. you're doing, I would say keep doing it because mm -hmm. you're doing you're doing more than most. Mm -hmm. And there's the law of sowing and reaping. <laughs> yeah, you're in the sowing season right now, and this mm -hmm. business is very, um, like what is it? oh when it rains it pours type of thing. Cyclical is that the word I'm looking for? Where mm -hmm. you see nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, <laughs> what just happened? Well, I'm, I keep telling myself I'm just getting all my nose at one time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe it's a test. What's she gonna do with this? You know, who knows? But um, another thing is you can look up uh, for encouragement. This is for everybody. Jim Rohn, his last name, R-O-H-N, Jim mm -hmm. Rohn. He's one of my favorites. He was old school. Yeah, he was one of the best. Um, but look up uh, the, like the law of sowing and reaping, Jim Rohn on YouTube, see what comes up. He's got such, found such great stuff. As far as motivation, encouragement, all that personal growth type stuff, it's just such good stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you have a close enough relationship with like the lady that joined for the business, but now she wants to wait a couple months, mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you're, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter if you're close with her or not, but just like I'm, I'm not, I don't really know her. Okay, well, sometimes I, I this is different than how I used to handle it, but now I try to address things like the elephant in the room. Uh, more than I used to I and so even asking like hey well did you read a scary article or was did you know did you have a family member that was kind of negative towards you I'm just curious okay shifted for you where you're curious I haven't not, asked that but just curious you know because that that might prompt a conversation and then I have found if I can get face to face on a call with people I will I have a lot better chance <laughs> of helping them get a plus one or go silver than if it's only always on text. Yeah. And I have voice messaged her. Um, and she finally, you know, like I said, she finally wrote messaged me back. And that was after her husband cut off his subscription, you know, and she finally messaged me back and just said, well, I'm going to be waiting a couple months. And I met her and I said, this is not a person I know. I was working at a, I was volunteering at an event. And I was what they call a people mover, where I was driving one of the golf carts and moving everybody around all day long. So I had all my little plexus stuff in my brochure, my active and everything. <laughs> and um, and so I was talking to them. And as I get, you know, so anyways, make a long story short, her and her husband were together and they were one of the ones that um, I gave a brochure and an active sample to. And I got her name and number um, to contact afterwards. And I did. And she's like, you know, I really want to I think we want to do this as a business. And she was on a couple of coaching calls and listened in and stuff. And I said the first two weeks, she was all gun ho about it and boom, then nothing. So, um, so no, I don't know her that well, but I'm hoping cause she told me she wants to continue on for a couple months. Cause what I wanted to do is I was going to try to get her to host a sip and see for me. Cause she's in a mm -hmm. good location that I could get a couple of people. And I was trying to get that set up that she would host that for me. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. and she, she may still she might I mean and sometimes people just get busy so mm -hmm. I mean yeah people are out of school summer month I mean things are different you know and so she may just circle you know come back and just say okay we're ready to go so mm -hmm. I mean just don't give up on her be patient no Definitely. yeah I won't give up on her <laughs> and she did tell me what the couple of weeks that she ghosted me she said because she had family in town and was busy with family okay so, well it sounds like there was legitimate yeah. ghosting. I mean, you know, <laughs> she was kind of yeah. had some other things on. Right. Um, yeah. so, well, it's exciting. Well, thank you. Um, real quick, Roberta Cassie Howard put a, in the chat thread, you can oh, look at right. that. There is, she put a link in there for you. Yeah, I see that. Thank you. I, I copied that and I will look at that too. I think she put two links in there actually. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't see the second one. Yes. Yeah. Let me get both of them. So that would be helpful. So thank you, Cassie, for putting that on there. Yeah. yeah. I, re I watched one of the retention videos, but I don't know which one it was. So I'll rewatch both of those. Perfect. Awesome. Hey. I appreciate your time. Yeah, yes, you bet. It's going to be a great month, guys. Oh, yeah. Hi-ho, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. See you guys.